Don't know whether this will get to you, Bob, but I'm sending it just the same. Well, we're still in the storm. Doesn't look as though we're going to get out of it. We've tried to move, but the rockets wouldn't fire. And then five days ago, the ship was hit by some sort of lightning or something. One of the storage modules broke off and the computer jettisoned our living quarters to even things up. It was awful, Bob. We were inside and we only had a few seconds to get out. Well, we nearly didn't get out at all. <laughs> and now we're all squashed in together. Melody, Victoria and me. What a team, eh? Melody keeps moaning about the clothes she's lost. Victoria's scared to death. So am I, really. I mean, the captain says everything should be fine once the storm's cleared, but I don't know if he's telling us the truth. I mean, he says there's no need to move, but then we can't move, can we? He hasn't said how long the storm might last for. If you get any strange readings, anything at all, I want to know right away. Don't worry. It doesn't matter what time of night, it doesn't matter how trivial, I want to know immediately. You can manage, Fimber. Don't be such an old woman. We've already averted one catastrophe by the skin of our teeth. Oh, give me strength. I want James to be aware of the danger of the situation. We won't get any second chances here. Here you are, James. Feel free to get Fimber out of bed. Night night. I don't know what to do about him. Off he goes to drink himself off into a stupor. You look as though you could do with some rest yourself. I try to reason with him, but he just won't listen. He just sneers at me and then carries on as usual, doing nothing. Finbo, your body's reacting to the iodine-5. Pierce told you to stay in bed. Sometimes. I feel I have the responsibility for the whole ship. But he has the power and he just won't listen to me. Good night. Keep looking, James. Don't count on Petra. We don't know how reliable she is anymore. Finbo, sleep well. Yes. Petra. What visibility do we have? 6,000 metres in all directions. Petra, visual sweep. Bromwich? James, are you in Compton? Yes, what is it? Just two. Yes, why? I want to come and see you. Give me half an hour to finish what I'm doing. What are you doing? Tell you when I see you. It's getting late. Time for bed, I think. <laughs> if I had a bed, I'd be very happy to go to it. You have got a bed. I've seen it. You haven't tried sleeping in it. I suppose at least we're still alive. Alive, breathing, warm. Ever. You know I love you, don't you? Huh? I uh, don't suppose you'd mind doing that somewhere else. Pardon? The dome, perhaps. <laughs> Daniel, we're not doing anything. Only this is a bar, not a bedroom. Oh, are you? So let's go to the dome. Oh, I don't want to go to the dome. It's late. I don't like going over there in the dark. It makes me nervous. Hey, you. We could be in Jean-Francois's cabin, except you won't let us. It does actually happen to be my cabin as well, you know. Look, I'm sorry. It's just every time I look round, there you are at it again. Daniel, <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm going to go and curl up with some book. Astrophysics part two or something. Take my mind off things. Oh, you can just be so horrible at times. Hey. No. Melody. Come on, baby. It's OK. Hmm? I've tried and tried, but still I don't understand electron degeneracy pressure. Mm. And I don't find Electra's help for these days. How about you? Not too bothered about it at the moment. I just hope the new principal can bring some discipline back to the place. What's she doing to my bed? What? I don't want my bed tidied, Anna. It's my bed, and what I do with it isn't anything to do with you. Hey, Linda. Yes? You know we pray to be delivered from the lion's mouth, and the flames of hell, and the burning lake. 
Well, seems to have worked, doesn't it? No lions, no flames, and no burning lakes. And being thrown into utter darkness. Anna, why don't you get back to your project on Sirius B? You know what else we pray for in the Requiem Mass? Haven't the foggiest. We pray for Lux Perpetua, Herr Linda. For perpetual light. Anna, we're not dead yet. A night of agony. I think it looks quite cosy, actually. You think it's cosy? You get in it. Melody, we had random selection and you were picked for the bed on the floor. Yes, by your autosec. Well, you saw it pick you. You know I get backache. Well, sleeping on the floor is good for backache. Not if you're all squashed up. <sighs> Can we put the light out, please? Uh, Melody? Yeah, if you like. Shan't sleep anyway. Well, count sheep, then. I've never seen a sheep. I've never eaten roast lamb. Oh, don't talk about food. Sorry. Anna, you've tidied everything up once. That's all right. You go to sleep. If we put everything away properly every night, then we know where it is in the morning, don't we? Otherwise, it'll get in a terrible mud and we'll both get cross. See, now look at this. Just drop in a cloth Chantel lent you on the floor. Nice clothes, too. I had to borrow some things of Rosie, not half so good. You are dreadful, Herr Linda. Bad in big things and bad in little things. You ought to try and change, you know. Especially now all this has happened. Any day now, we might all die. And then, what are you going to say about your life? Well, James, how's your sense of adventure tonight? Your scientific thirst for knowledge? You needn't think I'm going to ignite the rockets. Nobody wants you to fire the rockets. What do you want? To send a charge across the comms antennae. What on earth for? To see what happens, of course. Open. What is it? Oh, what's the matter? It's a question of response. Are we simply causing a physical reaction from a huge but natural electrical field, or are we irritating an electrical field that is alive and is reacting more quickly each time we provoke it? Come on, Chantal. It's only molecular gas mixed with dust. Yeah, that happens to be bombarding our magnetic shields with 20,000 volts. Mm. Silly question, but are you proposing to consult Elliot about this? What are you... You, you can't sleep here. I'm being squashed to pieces as it is. She either tells you a oh. thousand boring things you knew already about quantum physics, or she goes on and on about death and destruction. Yeah, and then... Have got any room, Hurley? I don't care. I'm not going back in there. Well, I expect she's crying, huh? Well, you feel sorry for her. You go and share with her. <laughs> well, don't feel that sorry for her. That's only the way she talks. Yes. And do you want to put up with it all day and all night? Oh, she three would grow up. I'm not going back in there. End of story. Oh, sorry. Oh, God, I can't even stretch my legs now. Oh, don't stretch them then. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, don't. Don't. It'll be her. Please don't. <sighs> Open. Oh. <laughs> Will anyone come into my room with me, please? No, Chantal. Oh, James, it'll be all right. This is a much smaller stimulus than the rockets firing, and the reaction should be that much smaller. Should be, should be. I just want to measure the time it takes to react. Physicists, heaven protect me from physicists. Oh, don't patronise me here. Well, not if you don't kill me. All right, all right, I'll wake Elliot. And he'd say no. James, if I'm going to tackle this thing, I haven't time to argue. Everyone on this ship is dead in three weeks. Three and a half months, Chantal. The CO2 extractor's knocked out and the backup system's damaged. James, in three weeks, the air in this ship will cease to support human life. True? Yes. 
No. But if you want to send a charge across the comms antenna, you ask the captain. Idiot! Chantal, no! James, I have to get a comparison. Can't you see? I promise I'll never ask anything of you ever again. This right, you won't get that chance. That's enough. Chantal? Petra? My audio instruction only, main console. Confirmed. Physicists. Careful, I don't want everything crumpled up. They all come out the same. Don't be such a little moaner. Oh, Linda. Yes? I couldn't sleep last night. Oh, Anna. But every time I closed my eyes, I kept thinking about the module breaking off and trying to get out. And what would have happened if I had it? Well, don't think about it, then. And then all alone in my room, and no one to talk to. It's so silly. Four of you in one room and just me in mine. You don't like sleeping on the floor, do you? Well, we're all swapping over again before long. It's nice and tidy in our room. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be having lunch with the others. See you. You still think it might be some sort of intelligence? No. No? No, but it can be alive without being intelligent. A primitive form of uh, nervous system, perhaps, like a jellyfish. So what are you going to do? Well, if every time we try to fire the rockets we provoke a reaction, we have to find a way to circumvent the reaction, don't we? Was it your brilliant idea to start having light shows last night? Yes, it was, but there's a very good reason why... Actually, it was my idea, Elliot. You deliberately sent a charge across the antennae? Chantal needed to experiment. And what happened? You got another charge from the storm, didn't you? Just like the one that lost us two modules and nearly lost half the students on Gantry 4. It's a controlled experiment, Thank Elliot. God, there's no such thing when you're in a pressurised aluminium tube five months' voyage from Earth. Just a short duration, fairly low energy charge. It gave me valuable data. We thought it was worth trying. You thought? You were officer on watch. And you took a completely unjustified risk with this ship and the lives of everyone on board. At least we established there's a link. I've always known there's a link. I fire the rockets and we get hit by a lightning bolt. Of course there's a link. So we stay put until the energy in the cloud dissipates, OK? But how long have we got, Elliot? We've got more than three months' rations left, you know that. And I know about the carbon dioxide extractors. I don't want to see either of you again in Comsen until I say so. see it. We've got plenty of spare. You don't need to worry. Oh, thanks a lot, Daniel. It tastes peculiar. I expect they're putting something in it. What? Something to make us submissive. Submissive? Yeah, well, if you did some work rather than sit around all day. So stupid. I'm sitting around conserving energy. <laughs> There's no evidence that thinking conserves energy. It might not be for you, dear. It does for me. I'm being extremely far-sighted. Sitting around on my bed all day probably means I'll be the only one able to deal with the next crisis. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't see you being so brilliant in the last one. Oh! Fallen for our rough, tough jailbird, have we? Of course not. <laughs> well, you've got to admit he saved lives. What would Bob say? Do you have to be so unpleasant? Don't worry, Victoria. I just ignore him anyway. Oh, she's coming over. Excuse me, I'm going to go. Excuse me. Melody! Melody! It's no use, I can't help it. What is going on? Oh, well. you can, Anna. I don't know why they've done it. They've left me all alone. And there's four of them in one room. Oh, dear. Perhaps you should talk to them, huh? How can I talk to them when they go away all the time? You'd think that at a time like this, everyone mm. would want to help each other. You can share with me if you want. You think you're funny, but you're not funny. Nobody's laughing, are they? No. What would you have done if she'd said yes, huh? No chance. Hey, what are you doing this afternoon? Not a lot I can do, is there? I was supposed to be on my way back home by now. <laughs> oh, 
we might as well waste time together then. Come. Have you seen Elliot? Yes. Why didn't you tell me what you've been doing? It wasn't such a big secret. I was just in a rush to get to bed when you came back. I think it was too big a risk. I think either Elliot or myself should have been informed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, you and Piers are the only relief we've got. If Elliot bans you from the bridge, I won't get any sleep at all. I'll have a word with him. In reality, of course, I'm glad you didn't tell me. Yes, Finbar, I know you are. Because you'd have had to ask Elliot, and he would have said no. I'm on your side, James. I think we should be doing all we can to get out of this muck. Chantal's the only one doing anything positive. Uh, look, she pointed out something which hadn't struck me. I suppose I should have checked the monitors. What do you mean? I know we lost the main CO2 extractor and the backup's faulty. Our air supply will deteriorate weeks before we come to the end of the rations, won't it? Yes. So why go on a 900 calorie ration? To make people think the crisis is a long way off. Do you have any idea what it's like, slow oxygen deprivation? Well, what about the cylinders in the command module? Oh, what are you suggesting? That we toss a coin to see who can live an extra few hours by pressing their face against a mask? My plants absorb CO2 and give off oxygen. Yes, well, perhaps you better stick with the gardening. The crew composed themselves to dice more for the pleasure than the vice. What crew? Oh, some American submarine what couldn't get out from the bottom. What happened to them? What do you think? Ooh! Laying caution to the winds, are we? Well, what have I got to lose? Money doesn't seem quite so real anymore. It does to me. Yes, but what does it all mean? A great night out on the tiles when we get back to Space City. Do you think we'll see... The Stardust Cafe again. And Lily behind the bar. I'll see you. Oh, thanks, Jean-Francois. That's the great evening out. Now what do we play for? My brother to me. Nope. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, of course I'm all right. Oh, open. Oh, who is it? Oh, hi. These beds are bliss. Grab the other one while they're not here. What's the matter? Anna's right, you know, you're not very funny. All right. I'll play you for half your water? No. It's kind of a melody, then. Well, what about my sweatshirt? Mm. All right. Next time we'll play for melody. Oh, Daniel, please stop saying and melody. you can't borrow it back if I win it. The sweatshirt or melody? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought maybe next week Melody could have my bed and I'll sleep on the floor. But I honestly don't see why we should swap with her, Linda. I mean, if she doesn't want to share a room with Anna, it's hardly our fault, is it? Anna was telling me all about what her aunt's died of after lunch. Oh. oh, hi. Oh, James was wondering where you'd got to. Are you all right, Melody? What's the matter? You look a bit peculiar. Do you think you've got a temperature or something? Oh. Hey, look, perhaps you should go to Medicom. Do you think we should go after her? I said I won't do it again. You don't think you're being rather unreasonable about this, do you? Oh, yes, very unreasonable. How stupid of me to want to make sure that every time I leave the ship in your charge, it's still there when I get back. At least somebody's trying to do something about the situation. The CO2 levels will be intolerable in three weeks, won't they? Yes. 
And if you want a ship full of screaming hysterics, tell everyone. I'm not proposing to tell anyone, but it does make our situation rather more pressing, don't you think? I think we should encourage Chantal to experiment in any way she can. All right. You can keep your watches on the bridge. And no more experiments unless I say so. But if we don't allow them to experiment, how will we... I will if I see any purpose. I'm not letting that girly blast us all to smithereens. There's the slightest chance of this storm lifting. And if the storm lifts and we find ourselves in deep space with a deteriorating oxygen supply, what then? I don't need this sniping. Don't you think I've got enough troubles? Bromwich? James, have you been talking to Melody? No, I haven't been able to find out where she is. Oh, she's just come in the physics lab and said she was looking for oxygen and then rushed out again. Oh, she looked very strange. I'll come over. Well, let's have a look, then. Daniel, what do you give me if I've won? You haven't won. How do you know I haven't let's won? Let's have a look. Oh. Which are mine? I thought they were yours. I've got Melody. There is a lot of aces there. <laughs> well, Winning Weatherby, they used to call me at school, you know. But there's five. <laughs> <laughs> I expect it's the weather having a funny effect on things. What's she going to say when she finds out, huh? <laughs> She's going to be pretty cross with you for losing, you know. She will, won't she? Mm. I expect she'll scream and shout. Until she finds out it's me who's won her, of course. <laughs> Melody, baby! <laughs> you didn't even tell her. Just as well, really. <laughs> <laughs> Melody. Oh, we're going to be poisoned with carbon dioxide, aren't we? We won't be able to breathe. Come into Compton and sit down. I don't know where you got that idea from. From you, of course. Come on, come on and talk about it. No, let go. No, don't worry. What is the matter with her? Melody? What's going on? Is something wrong with her? What is it? It's not anything. Very convincing. Melody, it's me, James. Unlock the lift, please. Come on, Melody, don't be silly. You know Petra can override the lock? No, she can't, because I've jammed the door. Let me come and talk to you. Oh, leave me alone, James. You can't do that. You want me to tell everyone on the ship they're going to die? 